So it's like we're starting fresh. It's, uh, what is it? It's Tuesday here. Right after Easter. Had a great long break. Took plenty of time off. With Easter, did a trip. Went to the top of the island. There's a bunch of flooding up there. We had a typhoon last week. To help out a lot of people, help out the in-laws, and at the same time, you know, you might as well know the good with the bad. Had a serious, oh, still got a serious thing going on with two of my kids here. Anyway, let me see. So, this is for you new guys, I guess. You know, everyone that's on the channel that's uh, new. Channel. Hmm. Telegram group. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it's Malcolm. Surf my life for Malcolm. I'm starting. Here's my first morning. So, as usual, you want to be like a pilot, go through your checklist, and set up your day, right? So, and we've got lots on my plate. I, have, I haven't even looked, I have not looked in days, right? I haven't been on the markets. Took some time off. It's good to get a clear head, get a break. I'm on a one-minute chart here, Bitcoin, right? Holy cow. <laughs> Let's have a look. I haven't looked, I'm seriously looking for the first time here. So just for this one minute, so we you know, yeah, people complain about that, but it's where you make the money, right? It's where you get out of your problems. It's where you get unstuck from trades. And, uh, and let's go look at carbon real quick here. Open this up, and then you're beyond the bot. You've got Algo, EOS, and Chisel, all right? So if you guys are in those, Algo, EOS, and Chisel. So um, let's have a We'll go have a look at those. But uh, it's where you make the money in the one-minute chart, right? Look at this. Here, look at this here. All I know in the news, I have no idea why, what is this time. Let me see, it's my time. This is midnight. All right, so look, down here. Let's go over here. I'm just going to give you, I'm going to cover a lot of ground here. All right, you haven't had a clip for a while, I guess. So here, we look down here. This is all, you know, everyone wants, oh, what's your settings? Wait, this is kind of just normal. But volume, right? This is the one, one of the real key indicators, right? I call it, you know, the army, the red and the green army. The green army is the uh, sar ma uh, sergeant, master sergeant from the U.S. Marines. We all know who that is, right? And uh, and then there's the red army is Dudley Do Do Right from the Canadian County counties, <laughs> Canadian counties, Canadian Mounties. <laughs> it's hard to think straight. I'm telling you, so much on my mind. Anyway, <clears throat> and uh, I guess we could be. The Greens be snidely whiplash. No, it's the it's the U.S. Marines, U.S. versus Canada. You guys, USA, would be going. No, I'm the red, white, and blue. I'm the red, white, and blue. Right? Look, it's just this simple. It's the Red Army versus the Green Army in any time frame you want to look at. And the key is direction. All right, you cannot fight direction. If the direction is the tide, right? I live on the coast, grew up surfing all my life. If the tide is coming in and you're surfing, you know, the waves might pick up, but they're going to get fuller. And so there'll be less, you know, tubes, less getting shacked, less getting in the barrel, because they're going to get fuller and fuller and you cannot fight it. And then as the tide starts to go out, there's no stopping it, right? And it's going to get shallower on the bank and shallower on the rock point or whatever it is, and it's going to pick up and get better, right? So you cannot fight the tide. And if the green army is winning, it looks like it is here, see this, then you're and you look for the volume so we're going to watch and when you see this volume i call it you know everybody jumping on the elevator right here they are and they all here there's the party and the party's on the second and third floor so it's not so great but it's okay right now what do we got it's ranging from 30 39,000 to what happened all the during the weekend or monday i guess oh right, look at this big dump all right, all I know about in the Bitcoin news is, is the big Elon Musk play, okay? I get, you know, the big non-event, look at this, let's have a look here. The big non-event, I have a little narrative here, the big non-event was Miami, you know, what came out. I guess there was nothing, really. I, I, I had it on the live feed playing in the background, and I'm going to have a sip of my morning coffee. Not that I'm like, you know, got to know every single thing. I just wanted to see what was happening. And all I could gather, I, I, I tuned in for all the major guys, right, the biggest players. And all I could gather was they all just kept up this one narrative, what we hear today all the time, a narrative, a narrative. They just kept up this drumbeat. 
Oh, the future's bright, the future's bright, the future's bright. There was no great... Anyway, I won't say my piece. The whole world's in turmoil. That's what I'll say. The whole world is in serious turmoil. And we got to make our own way. We like I talk about being a boxer. You know, I used to box. My dad was Australian band and weight boxing champion. You uh, you got to learn to duck and weave, the art of boxing. We're in the art of surviving, right? So we got to duck and weave. And duck and weaving is doing all sorts of things. And one of the things is getting control. And one way to get control is to be able to go out there and create some sort of crypto stack, right? Stack, start stacking the crypto. And we don't care about all this nonsense, right? We don't care that... It went from 60 grand to 38,000, right? We don't care that hurt our stack, because what? We're in USDT. That's the key at the moment. Oh, but it could go to whatever. No, nah, it's not going anywhere, I'm telling you. The world's in too much turmoil. And uh, and we're going to, this is all going to come to an end. I'll put, I'll call it right now. This is all going to come to an end. Because what's going to happen to get, get them out of the pickle that they're in financially? Because they're in a pickle. And if you've talked to me personally, you'll understand all of that is uh you know they've got they want to create a world war well that's not happening because putin's not coming to the party and most of you don't even realize the whole reason you're all being played that he's a baddie anyway uh, putin's not coming to the party he's just he know he's too smart to fall for that trap you're gonna ostracize a lot of you for saying that and then they're uh, gonna crash the economy while well, the powers that be that own the world bank and the and the federal reserve and the central bank and all those people they're not giving up. They're going, no way you're getting out of hundreds of trillions of dollars of debt you've racked up for the last 150 years. Sorry, not doing that. Not getting out of that. So one of the other plays they're going to do, and that's why they've allowed crypto, maybe even why it came about, who knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is and where it came from, is that they'll create, each country will get their own centralized, not decentralized, not like this, not a public ledger. It'll be a centralized cryptocurrency for each country right a centralized cryptocurrency for each country and then they'll play make a play that doesn't work they'll create something to make it not right and we'll all beg them to fix it and then the way they'll talk about fixing it is one just one and then we'll all go yeah that's all idea and then we'll all wake up and go oh crap we got one currency running the whole world kind of like what you have with the u.s dollar right now it's a federal reserve currency right a reserve there's nothing federal about it Reserve currency. Anyway, Elon Musk is in this play with Twitter. Elon Musk's Tesla is a very, you know, the most successful company that's out there. You've got to give this guy credit. He's an innovator. Everything that he's done, he's, all the companies that he owns, and he's really pushing the envelope. But Tesla has insane amount of Bitcoin holdings. If you go and look, it's on public record. And so by manipulating Bitcoin, they can manipulate Tesla value which manipulates Tesla stock. And there's another big player in, in, the, in, the, in the world, Kathy Wood, ARK Investments, one of the bigger hedge funds in the world. And she has a big, huge, my gigantic holdings of Tesla stock. So she doesn't want Elon Musk to sell his stock, and she, so she manipulates Bitcoin to make the stock go up. Well, at the same time with Twitter and all this stuff, because this doesn't make any sense whatsoever, right? No sense whatsoever. Here's a minute chart. You have a look at this. And why would Bitcoin on a minute chart in, in a five-minute period drop 2.5%, right? Why would it do that in a minute chart? Other than, you know, there's manipulators and plays and news and all sorts of stuff going out there. It's got, so we see that we're able to make money. We're able to make money on this, right? Then we're able to make money as it goes back up. We're able to make money on these, on the major markets. So we look for the volume. And we know that the time the major markets show up, right? And they show up. Sydney is the first market. We're going to go by the sun coming around the earth, right? And the day, the day, the, you know, the international date line right through the middle of the Pacific. And the sun hits, and the first major market that it hits is Sydney, Australia. And we see a, always see a, a movement. And lately, you know, right before Easter, we, instead of being a pump, we saw dumps. Anyway, there's a movement. And you watch the volume, whether it's a red elevator coming up off the floor or it's a green elevator like here going to the, up to the penthouse and going up to the sun deck, the roof bar on top of the building, right? And we watch for that and we catch these one, two, three minute pumps, one, two, three, four minute pumps, right? And if you're onto these and you're catching them, like have a go at this. That's 1.9, that's 19% on Bitcoin. And I'm going to show you here when we talk about other coins, which ones to use choosing the right pair right 955 wow we're 10 minutes into this 
choosing the right pair, you will see then that you can make a lot more gains, right? So we watch each one of these pumps, and it's great. I don't care if the market goes up, I don't care if the market goes down. Volatility is what we want. So Sydney is the first one. How do you go and do that? You go here. You get yourself, I've got everything all messed up. Time Buddy, right? So I'll put that up there, 10 minutes. Worldtimebuddy.com. And you have it set up. So here I am, Singapore. I don't live in Singapore, but that's the time zone. So it's 6 a.m. here, and we're looking at the markets, right? Sydney, it's 8 a.m. So two hours ago at 4 a.m. my time, 4 p.m. New York, 9 p.m. London time, there's the Sydney market kicks in. Then the next market that kicks in is Singapore, and we should be getting something showing up from Singapore here pretty soon. 6.40, a little bit late to the party. 5.15, there's the first of it. Right there, there's the first of it. So, we look for that. Then the next market after Singapore, so it starts with Sydney. Then we have Singapore. The next market after that is Moscow. And Moscow is at 11 o'clock my time, right? And we know why is Moscow come into play, because the ruble's falling off the face of the earth. But it's going to catch itself. Putin's such a smart guy. I'm telling you, he's a master chess player. He went and backed his currency with gold. He's really going to make a play against all this debt the United States is holding. He hasn't got a hate on for the United States. He has got an enterprising capitalist country called Russia. It's not a communist country. It's an enterprising capitalist country that just has a different voting system than us, right? That's all. And I wouldn't crow too hard about your voting system over there because we all seen what's happened in the last handful of elections and who's got elected and who should have been president and who wasn't president who is not U.S. citizen, and all sorts of stuff that goes on, right? So, you know, China is a, not a communist country. China is an enterprising capitalist country with a one-party system that has no voting. That's it. That's, that's all it is. It's all about capitalism enterprise, and we're going to capitalize on this capitalist enterprise by catching all these movements and making some serious money, right? And get our crypto, and then when the crypto world currency comes out, or your country's crypto comes out, they're not going to steal your Bitcoin. Don't be panicking about that. It'll be that you'll have a period of time that you've got to convert that crypto, whatever coins it is, whatever Bitcoin, whatever you're holding, into that country's crypto. That's what it'll be, and it'll be like the black market. And if you don't have that, then you're in outside the law after that period. So I would rather have a stack that I can convert and pay capital gains tax on than not have a stack and end up with nothing. I would rather understand crypto like you guys do now and have my head wrapped around cryptocurrency and blockchain because that's how everything's going to be and you'll be ahead of the game when it all comes and shakes out right that's what we're about we're about ducking and weaving so let's get on with the video 13 minutes golly you guys are all probably hung up by now so let's get on so we're going to double check we always double check we're in market we always double check are we isolated if we're at 10x we confirm all of that now we're going to go and see what we're looking for in so remember, okay, sorry, got off. Sydney, Singapore, Moscow, then London, and then New York. That's the time, five time zones around the world. So now, all right, you got that? Go look at my videos. I've got them up there. Go through the whole playlist. If you go through, people ask which one's the most important. I don't know what's the most important to you. I don't know what you want out of this. If you just go through it, it's a progression in time. You'll see how it works out. Why am I doing it? I just want you guys to win. I'm not charging you. There's no... No discourse or, or monthly fee or anything like this. They're just doing it out of the good of my heart. I want you guys to win. All right? We're in a battle. We're in a spiritual battle at the moment. And we're also in a physical, financial battle. We got to look after our families. Okay, here we go. We want to find out <coughs> what other coins are well worth it. Okay? So we go over to assets, go to derivatives, you right click, open new link. That's just the way my computer works. And up here, we're going to go to derivatives again. We're going to open up some different coins. And we're going to have a look. So we look at Bitcoin. Now we're going to choose a pair. Okay. And we look at Bitcoin. Now remember, look, here it is here. We're looking at this pattern. See this and this big pump here. See these pumps. We're going to look for this pattern. See, it's in the same one here. Why? Oh, it's Bitcoin. <laughs> Tried to trick you. Couldn't do it. So let's have a look. Plus 2%, right? So look, look at Luna. Holy cow. What's going on there? 11. Let's go have a look. MLT. New. Don't touch it, right? New. We don't know what's going on. Okay. OGN. 
Fancy. Look at our favorite. I haven't been. Oh, Nia's still up there doing 147 million. But not as much. But let's have a look. Let's go have a look. Let's see. Luna's on fire for some reason. So we're going to click on Luna. Let's have a look. And we want to see. And. And, 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 and. There's those two pumps here. Let's see. That's midnight, one o'clock, and this is uh, 108. Yeah, that's the same. It was an hour apart. Look at this. Isn't this uncanny? You think I'm crazy, manipulated? Midnight, one o'clock. One hour apart. Boom, boom. Right? They're not joking. So, uh, hang on. This is an hour later. Have a look here. One second. One and two. Right? Here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We got a 10.30, then here we got a midnight and a 1 o'clock. So it's like these guys were ahead of the game. They knew it was coming, right? They knew it was coming. Anyway, it's not quite the same, but it's close. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the, the one here. And we got a 1.79 on the second pump, right? And on the second pump here, 1.6. So it's not that great a play, right? It's just some news about Lunar and it's gaining, right? It's gaining. So we've got, we're still going to keep looking around for a coin here to see. We want something that's got a bigger spread, much bigger spread. Look, let's go to our favorite here. Yeah, let's have a look. Bear with me. I haven't even got, well, see, look, here's there, 1 o'clock. Midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock pump. See, exactly the same as Bitcoin. How can that be? All right. How can it used to be that Bitcoin would move and uh, a day later the altcoins would move? And then it got Bitcoin would move and a few hours later altcoins would move. You have a look here. Let's go. Let's have a look. You don't think it's all coordinated? All right. Where's the first? <coughs> here we are. Right there. 108. The end of 108 minute, 109 is the first elevator ride up to the mid floors for the party. And uh, there's a video on it. I put it in at 17 minutes. There's a video I talked to you about why this happens, how they strip the order book, <coughs> order books, and they force this thing to go up. Let's have a coffee. Mmm, coffee. Okay. And they strip the order book. So 108, 109. We got that? Let's have a look here. Boop, boop, boom. Midnight. 108. 109. As if. That's all I'm going to say. As if. The exact same minute. So let's have a look. What happened here? 2.4. 1.9. 2 2.4. Bitcoin's on a run, man. Okay, so knee is a better bet. Okay, this is what you do. We, we go through and we have to pick, pick our pairs to see what's happening. OGN. Not, we're not touching this. It's brand spanking new, right? I'll show you why. Look, let's go to M MTL. Let's just have a look. Go to the day chart. Now, yeah, look, see, it's been on the exchange. One, two, three, four, five, six days. <laughs> Get caught, man. I was caught out, you know that last week. Oh, there. This is it. One big pump. Who kept, It'll probably unload. You get caught out here, they'll all take their profits and be back down to $2. Two dollars to come out of the shoot. Good for them, whoever they are. Got to go look this up. But let's, uh, so, you know, you don't play that new one. Let's go have a look. Where were we? What one was I looking at before I went to that? Da -da -da. GMT. Big, big, big run. Big run. So we're going through the coins. Look, see, it's just a big, it's not the same. See, it's not the same as Bitcoin, so you can't play that, right? But some serious, serious business here. Oh, we're on the one hour, that's why. Here we go. Yeah, see, it's not the same. It's not quite the same. There's, here's those two runs, though. Let's have a look at that one o'clock run. Let's have a look. 4%. Look at that. Where's the 2 o'clock run? 2.30. It was a little late. It's not quite the same. Let's have a look at this top here. Let's go. Reset my chart. 
So we're at the top right here. 523 my time this morning. 0.45. 523. 523. Where are we? See, it's not the same. You can get caught out here. It's running harder. Could be a play though. Look, see, it is still, you know, it's close to it. What's happening here? What's happening here? What's happening here? 651. It's like it's dragging behind Bitcoin. Anyway, we could have that one up there. So, we're looking for our pair, right? Let's keep GMT up there. Let's look for our pair, look for our pair, look for our pair. You should be doing this while you're on the... You see what I just did there? Right click, open. <coughs> Open a new window on the assets, go up here. That's why how you get all these open on the one screen. I'm just working one screen right here, right? <coughs> For you guys. So OGN, that's what we're gonna look at. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Okay, first thing, see the big your candles have got big wicks on them. So when you're on a market right over here and you opened it up here it would take the top of the wick right if you open it here it take the bottom of the wick you gotta be careful when you got a big wick all right beating the wick i'll put that up there 21 minutes 21 minutes beating the wick let's have a look here completely different chart so you're playing with fire here right see how the chart's completely different playing with fire so the market's all over the place let's use gmt so anyway, let's find our direction. Next thing, we've got to move on for you guys. We want to find the direction. What's the direction? Now it's pretty comp easy to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven solid hours. No wicks out of the bottom. Growing seven solid hours on the one-hour candle. Mr. Sar Master Sergeant from the U.S. Marines is kicking butt, and Dudley Do Right's tripping over backwards on his on his uh, spurs, trying to get out through the field. Two hours. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve solid. Look at this. Wow. This whole weekend off. That's okay. Twelve hours solid there. All right. So we know the direction is green. Green, green, green. So let's have a little zoom out. You always you don't want to be caught, you know, if it was right here or right here at the very top, right? Right here if, it, if, it, if the hour came. If the hour had reached, you know, a major level, right? See around here, there's 43. It could be changing direction. There's a changing of the guard video. Go look for it. But we got plenty of room, right? We got even room to get to here. So from 40, we got another 700 odd dollars to go if we, before we even get close to it. 1.6, 16% at 10x, you know, and on another coin if you're using four. There's 40%. If you're on GMT, whatever you're going to use today, you make your decision. I can't tell, tell it for you. OGN, I'm not touching that one. Okay, so we're going to choose our coins, right? So we know one hour, green, two hour, green. So what's that mean? That means that we're going to take the longs. We're not going to play with the shorts. We're going to take a long, let it come back down again take the long right we just wait you go how do you know when to get in well let's have a look here at the bottom okay it starts and then we see the volume so it doesn't matter if it's two candles or more away and you take the long and if you're on bitcoin there's nine percent right if you're just playing with bitcoin right and you take that long and when it when it turns at the top and you get a red candle you're out right you don't just jump because you can always come back in don't wait, oh, man, 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 and then you're down here, and you just gave back 3% of your money, right? Just say, I'm out. Thank you very much, right? How do you know when to get out? Have a look back, right? Here it is. Look back to here. Okay, we're running up. We look back in time. We're on the one-minute candle, but we go, look, it's tagging right where it was. If we don't see that, if it's getting higher, a higher high than it has before on the one-minute candle, we go to the one hour. And we look back, right? And we go, now imagine if this one was right close to this here. We just jump out when it gets to that point. Where as soon as you see a red candle or you see the volume slow down or you got your 
your screen really big and you watch this see the moving average here and it turns and starts to dip you get ready to have a look and jump out right and you jump out because you just say thank you very much thank you very much and that was great i like that four hundred dollars i like that hundred dollars i like whatever it is you got going and then you come back in you can always come back in there's no sense staying in and handing back the money as it comes down you're going oh it'll turn it'll turn and i hand it all back jump out and then it comes down you go okay i can get back in again right and then you can have a look no, here we're red 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 and green red and green nobody can decide now the volume starts right so look if i was right now i'd be hopping in and you're already at now here's a really good example jumping in right this second okay you would open it here up here on the top of the wick that's a serious amount of money you got to play to get all the way there right you got to play you you got to wait for this whole candle to grow to here you have a look at the bottom we're at 42 seconds right we're at 42 seconds so instead of going and placing a limit order and trying to catch that on your small coin that's moving around so much you wait 55 see down here 57 58 boom now you go and open the long boom right there and you just beat that much of the wick playing the market if you're on limit you could have opened it here now look see it took off away you go got that all right i'm going to finish with that there's a good lesson for you today keep it under 30 minutes all right glad to be back i had five six days off things things uh changed a lot with me here well, i've got a pile of ants on my desk I haven't been around for a long time <laughs> didn't even take the covers off it all the computer everything if you Hey, you want a couple thousand dollars, quite a few thousand dollars worth of software and computers? Come to my place. It all sits outside my office. I don't take it in. I just leave it. Anyway, I didn't even take the covers off for days. We were gone, came back, all sorts of stuff. There you go. So look, now you've just, look here, see you just got to, equal to, to the top of that wick. All right. So that's it for today. Or oh, for the time being anyway.